What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden Earth Bar Chucking. This here was my original bin, which is now the natural bedding bin. We're gonna hop in and check it out. The double side is the side that I typically feed. So we'll see. <laughs> you can see a bunch of the isopods, but that's okay. They're just breaking down all these food scraps and the leaves. You can definitely see the color difference. There's definitely a color difference on the outside where there was no covering is much lighter. The inside is a much darker, richer color. Okay, so definitely see the leaves. Oh, there's a couple pieces of asparagus. So still have some food scraps in here, which is good. Keeping the worms happy. I've been trying to add leaves with every feeding um, because for whatever reason this natural bedding they really seem to go through the bedding which is a good thing Let's see there's even a little kind of a drier pocket there so what I'll do is incorporate that a little bit more And then with the natural bedding, we get some sticks and uh, thicker stems and little pieces of branches, which I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, the good thing with that is that actually helps to uh, incorporate a little bit of aeration, you know, because everything can't pack down all around it as much. Yeah, these guys are doing a great job. I'll just kind of see how this side's looking. Definitely this outside is dry. So what I'm going to do to help me out, I do need to get this area harvested um, and there's a lot of finished castings in here. So I'm going to use uh, one of my sifters real quick just to get some extra castings over this way and kind of reduce the volume over here. So this here is my quarter inch screen. And then see, I just get left with more of the unfinished material. So as you can see, a lot of that fine material now. There's a little worm poking through. Another one. And what I'm going to do with this is because there's some worms, I'm going to kind of leave this in the bin to allow them to crawl out. But see, now this area has some good biology so some broke down leaves and then this section's a little bit better to get uh, ready for a harvest for me ok 
check and because I will be taking out a bunch of material I'm going to keep adding the leaves and as I said with the last time uh, there was a couple dry pockets so I'm actually going to incorporate some of the castings right into this material now get me a nice little pocket for the feeding had an apple go bad so I sliced it and stuck it in the freezer still had a couple pieces of asparagus and then it's going to be a pretty large handful of the pulp from the juicer with the fresh bedding and the feeding I always like to add some ground up eggshell this will be used as grit for the worms because they don't have any teeth they're going to go ahead and take little bites of the ground up eggshell and then use that as they wiggle around to help break down and digest the food I always try to make sure that I have some castings covering that feeding area and see I still have worms on this so I'm going to place the Come on. I'm going to place uh, my cover back on here and then just let this rest on top for a few days. just do it like that if if work ever gets a chance to calm down a bit I'll be able to get this taken care of um, it's been a little wild and crazy basically since the beginning of the new year I had a gentleman that I worked with for about five years he retired and they refused to hire a new person so everything kind of falls back on us at work so you got to make sure everything gets done so, if you guys have any questions, don't forget, drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.